have to earn sick time? What? I have to earn time to stay home to heal myself so I can be myself. What? Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Naya the Starseed and today we're going to talk about why your job might be hurting you spiritually. So first I'll begin by telling you a few signs that it's obviously hurting you spiritually. Then I'll talk about the obvious cons and about a couple reasons why you might want to just stay and try and like thug it out you know and then fourth I'll tell you guys a little story about me and my old job and how I knew that it was hurting me spiritually and why I decided to run and get up out of there the first sign that your job would be hurting you spiritually would be that you're basically miserable there, you're angry about going or upset about having to go there, and it's just it's not vibing with you. Another sign would be that you're working at a place that you're doing work that you're not passionate about like at all. It doesn't interest you in any type of way and you're basically just doing it because you need the money. Another sign would be that you are literally drained when you are there at work. Like you can't focus, you are just not yourself and it's, it's just draining your energy every day having to go there and work for someone else that's not even improving you as a person at all. Another sign that your job is hurting you spiritually would be that the hours are very long and you have no time for yourself, like no free time at all to do anything else besides go home and go back to work, and go from work back home. That is not good for your mental health, your sanity, your peace of mind. Why are you giving yourself up like that? Like, really think about it. Like, how is this job improving you at all? Like, and you're working 40, 60 hours, like, a week. Like, come on. Come on. And it's just straight up not aligning with anything that you're interested in. Moving on to two. These are the obvious cons. You're working for a company that will replace you in two minutes. Like, think about it. If you was to get hurt or you can't work, they would just literally fire you and find somebody else to replace you. No offense to Amazon putting them out there, but I sprained my ankle 2020 of um, August and I sent them a letter from my doctor saying I'm gonna be out four weeks the most right the most and I and I'm pretty I'm I'm the type to to heal pretty quickly you know so I probably don't need it like two or three but they put four you know just to be safe and why they fired me they even said that I voluntarily chose to quit because of my sprained ankle yeah so jobs like that obviously it's hurting you spiritually like they don't care about you or your well-being and having to ask permission to go on vacation or take sick time you have to i gotta ask someone else if i can go enjoy myself what no no it's a no for me no and on top of that I have to earn sick time what I have to earn time to stay home to heal myself so I can be myself what you tell me when I've earned enough time to do that 
yeah okay <laughs> okay and the fact that you are living paycheck to paycheck is a huge red flag Lots right there of people are living paycheck to paycheck because they are working for a company that has no interest in making sure that the employees make money their interest is making sure that the company is making money they don't care about if y'all making money and how y'all doing it and how it's hurting you to get this money for them no they don't care about none of that as long as you doing it though as long as you on time don't let you be past the, the 15 minute grace grace period and then what they docking your pay because the train was delayed come on come on think about it think about it if you in that position leave it's time to leave i know that it it may sound crazy but that's not for you you should not be working for anyone or doing anything that you do not enjoy yourself and it's hurting you no no <laughs> These are a few reasons why you might want to stay and like thug it out because you have made friends there you've built real relationships real connections with your co-workers and you don't want to leave them you know you see each other probably almost every day or majority of the days of the week and you know you connect with these people you brought them into your circle into your life so, you know, you kind of don't want to just give that up and I understand that. But think about yourself. Think about what you need, what's best for you. Another reason might be that it pays the bills. Yeah, we all know. We work jobs because it's going to put money in my pocket and food on the table and a roof over my head, right? Yeah, of course. But there are other ways of making money. And listen, this is YouTube. This is YouTube, baby. You could just type in on the search bar how to make money. I'm sure you're going to find billions of different ways to make money. So do not, do not tell yourself that you need this job. This job needs you. This job needs you to run and to make money. And the same money you making for them, you could be making for yourself. And that's another way to make money. Reason that you might stay at this job, even though you know it's hurting you spiritually, is that you don't want to lose your benefits. Retirement money, 401k, you know, stock that you put into it, and insurance, like your benefits. You know, it, it might you might use it for the dental plan or the the um the vision plan or whatever plans you're using it for but you might lose your benefits if you just up and leave the shop and i get it that is another reason to stay of course but think about it you're really only there for the money just like they're really only there for the money so if you have the same mindset that they have in making money use that build your own have your own employees if that's the case and you treat them better than how they are treating you now and you lead by example and so now i'm gonna tell you a little story time about my old job and how i knew that it was hurting me spiritually because oh y'all i'm being honest with y'all i don't i don't think if i would have stayed there another week that would have been it for me. I don't think I would have made it. It was toxic. When I say toxic, it was top, top tier toxic. <laughs> I worked at Sweet Green. I mean, the place itself, the environment itself, like you, it would, it would, it would seem like a nice, calm place. You know, we made salads. That was, that was, that was the basics. We made salads, we made different types of salads. However you wanted it, we had the, yeah, type thing. I'm pretty sure y'all heard of Sweet Green or whatever. But it was a pretty cool place. I had made some cool friends. I met some cool people. 
shout out to y'all if y'all watching because y'all are dope people don't ever think that you aren't because you are that were also into like astrology and tarot just like me like spirituality all together and that's what connected me to them and I thank them a lot for they probably didn't really know as much but I thank them because they they helped me get through it like without them I was waking up crying like bawling tears I'd be on a train going there crying I would be hyperventilating I would have panic attack anxiety attacks back to back to back like every single day I was going there I was I was having a nervous breakdown every like can you imagine that every single day going to work you know you probably y'all are probably living it right take my own experience as advice and get out of there because it doesn't deserve you the reason I wanted to work there because every time I went into Sweet Green the employees were always so they always made the customer feel well me the customer at the time they always made me feel like I was welcomed and so I was like, you know what? I never really worked at like no fast food type thing. This is kind of like that. It's kind of the same thing. If you think about it, it's just salad. It's like a, a healthier fast food, I guess. <laughs> bathroom, I would take my breaks, my 15 minute breaks, and I would just cry in the bathroom my whole break. Like I wouldn't even eat. Like I would go there, have no appetite. Like I would be starving on my way there while I'm crying and everything. Like stomach growling and everything like oh my gosh and then when I get there it's like appetite gone in the trash what is that food me eat I would never like that like I was losing weight like I was just going through it like that was just not not it so I just feel like if you're experiencing any of that you can get out for yeah. about three months and usually me I'm when I when I settle down at a job I'm there like I am devoted I am I'm not even the type to call out because I never called out I probably in those three months I probably called out like once and that was because I had really bad cramps like because my cramps they used to be real bad to the point where I could not even like I, I had to like almost crawl to the bathroom that type bad so going to work was a dub and in that environment it would have heightened it and it would have just been worse so, yeah but I was very devoted I was a, a great employee even when I left that's what they told me but um yeah I just couldn't do it anymore I couldn't do it you know I wasn't gonna force myself that Monday I just knew it I was just like why do I keep doing this to myself? Like, why am I allowing me to be this stress? Like, what? it's not even benefiting me at all. Like, I'm getting money and that's it. Like, why am I doing this to myself? I'm literally hurting myself. Like, I would leave work at like nine o'clock. They say we leave at nine o'clock, but we ain't really leave till like 9.30 type thing. But um, that's a whole nother story. I would leave there, I would walk up the block and I would go to every single bar that I saw and I would just drink. I would just drink and I would cry in the bar <laughs> and I'd just be drinking to myself. Sometimes I would just take the drink, walk around, just be crying bro and drinking. Like I was so miserable there, I was so drained there that I just knew I had to get out of there. Like it was. It got so bad that I was on a train with two drinks in my hand after I just went bar hopping to like four different bars, bro, by myself after work. Two drinks in my hand, going home, and I'm sipping them at the same time, and I'm crying, and I'm like, why am I doing this? Why? Like, and then from then, I had put in my two weeks. I didn't say anything to the managers because y'all got my email, y'all got y'all got my notice. And when they approached me and they said, are you leaving? Like people were like, are you leaving? Like, do you have another job? And I'm just like, no, like I trust that I will find something. I will do something. I'm gonna make my money regardless. Like I do not need this job. This job is not helping me as a person. It's hurting me more than it's helping me. 
and they was like wow so you're just gonna wing it out there in life and I'm like yeah yep because if you really think about it aren't we all just winging it whether you're working or not we're all winging it in some area of our life so why not I'd rather have my peace and my sanity and be the real me than come here and put on a fake smile and try to be happy when I am literally dying on the inside. No. So, yep, that's why I left Sweet Green. <laughs> and now we are at the end of the video. So, I just wanted to tell you guys be true to you do what you need to do for you and your happiness don't stay anywhere you are not one where they do not value you they don't value you bye and remember to have faith in yourself and anything you believe you have you will have Later, guys.